Lucha. I'm really going to be interested to try the Yamaha Tenere out because what they've got out is a special one at the moment the uh, Yamaha Tenere World Crosser it's not the standard Tenere it comes with and I, I could be quite interested in this one because my god it does look good and I've got a superb Yamaha dealer because <clears throat> good dealers are very 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 few and far between um, and I've got one two or three miles from me and I go there a lot that's what I'm going on holiday with uh, they're a great bunch of lads and I'd love to buy a Yamaha bike but it's got to come up against this BMW haven't it um, and of course the Tenere is the one um, but the plain Tenere you know, uh, I don't know um, Nick Sanders did 50,000 miles on it all through the Africas up the Iceland and whatever and it came back um, looking like shit but the engine was totally reliable um, and he doesn't do anything to them uh, I don't even think he knows how to give an oil change so he literally thrashed the guts out of it 50,000 miles in just a few months I think or whatever totally reliable good bikes Yamahas um, you know they don't break very often that's for sure um, so you know I'll be tempted by that but the, the build quality of it is nowhere near like this lovely looking beast here look so um, and it's not cheap but they do this world crosser one which has got shed loads of extras on it loads of extra guards and um, uh, uh, crash bars and uh, swing arm protectors and Christ knows what else um, the spotlights it comes with and loads of carbon bits as well um, I've seen pictures of it and you can buy it cost a bit extra um, it does look nice um, yeah so I'm going to test drive it and see what it's like because obviously it's a 1200 it's not as powerful as a Triumph but say on paper things like that you know they don't relate sometimes you know you get on a bike and think Christ that goes like hell but it shouldn't and it rides really well and you get on another bike you think God that's going to you know but it doesn't come up to its uh, expectation so you know, you've got to test ride these bikes. Don't go by what they say on paper. It means absolutely shed all. So I'm trying that one out because a 1200 parallel twin, all the parallel twins I've ever ridden are very, very easy to ride. Very forgiving. Um, so, and Nick says it's got a fantastic, beautiful, smooth gearbox. It rides like the GS. I've sat on one. Um, it's very similar to the Triumph, to the Honda, you know, to the GS. Uh, obviously hasn't got the tank range again. And if you drop one, you're in trouble, like the rest of them. But we will see. And I reckon it might rain. What's the time? Quarter to twelve on a Monday. Twenty-first. There's the KTM main dealer. More traffic lights, oh my god, what the hell are they doing to this place? Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, don't forget to keep an eye on YouTube 
four. On the, what is it, the 30th of this month, uh, there onwards for the next, uh, well, like 15 days or something. Um, because I should be shooting all around Europe. Hopefully having good weather. Uh, if not, I'm in shit street. Um, <laughs> Can you imagine driving all through France in a rally rain we've been having lately? Uh, right the way down to the Pyrenees and into Spain. They can have rain there as well. What's the old saying? Rain in falls mainly on the plain. Or does it bollocks? You want to see it rain in the mountains? <laughs> so uh, we shall see. <coughs> I think I might pull over and turn this thing off. Otherwise it's going to take about two hours to put it on the computer because the bloody thing's too long. I should have put my button on the handlebars and turned it off every now and again. But So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this little beastie home. Oh, I should have gone down there, shouldn't I? I'm going to take this beastie home and I'm going to get the FZ one out and give that a blast because I think the sun's supposed to be coming out later if you can believe the weather forecast that is so that's what I'm going to do. It's weird, you know, when you get off one of these and you get on one of those little left side ones. It's just so different. You know, the engine seems to be screaming its guts out. You think, oh, it's going to seize up in a minute if I don't change gear. And you look down at the rev counter and you're doing about 5,000 revs. <laughs> you know. So, uh, you have to get used to it. takes a while. Go oh, on Mr. Van Man, get out of my way. I'm going to have to pass him before the next village though, because, yep, there we go because this next village is quite often a, the old bill with the old speed guns around here so anyway we've done it now these bikes are so bloody comfortable I mean, so if you look down at my knees can you see they're completely can you see that I don't know out of the wind and your legs because of the huge tank and then you've got all of this screen here and hand guards yeah very comfortable for long journeys there's no doubt about that Anyway, I think I've said all I'm going to say. Well, I just will say, um, Rex, you had an awesome holiday, mate. Canada? Well, wow. 
I wish I could. I wish I could have done that. Anyway, take care. I'll catch you tubers later. <laughs>